Hello, welcome to FMOD in 2 Minutes, the series for beginners in game audio implementation. Today we're talking about something called a distance parameter. Here I have a very simple 3D environmental spot sound, and it's using the spatializer as is standard for 3D objects inside of FMOD, which means the volume gets lower as we move further away and the opposite as we come back. But there is another way of describing a 3D object in this way. If I turn off the spatializer and add one of these distance parameters, so new parameter, and underneath the normal ones at the top here, there is all of these, there are all these built-in ones, built-in distance and built-in distance normalized. I'll explain what this means later. I click on distance, I can set the range here to whatever I want. And what we're gonna do is add automation so that the volume on the object is at full volume and as we get further away it goes down simulating what a spatializer would do and you can see that the 3d preview is attached to it already right really really handy now the question is why would you do this instead of the spatializer well for one i can adjust this curve in any way that i want to right as opposed to sticking to the spatializers built-in presets which allows for way more flexibility depending on your situation. The other thing you can do is attach this distance parameter to other effects. For instance, if I added a high pass simple, I can add this same automation curve distance, meaning that as we're moving away from the object, we're not just lowering the volume, but we're also affecting this filter. You can imagine how many other plugins we could add this to and make something really interesting and more unique. The other distance parameter was uh, the normalized one, which is the same thing, but it just has a set um, range from zero to one, zero being the minimum distance, one being the maximum, which means if we have to change our uh, 3D spatialization settings afterwards, we don't have to go and adjust our curves for each individual one again. So there you go, another way to create 3D sounds within an FMOD and allow for a lot more controllability and interesting processing.